Valorant is one of the most input sensitive games on the planet and yet even top tier PCs run it poorly when misconfigured. Today I'm going to walk you through the ultimate PC optimization guide for Valorant. We're going to cover best in-game settings, Nvidia and AMD Radeon control panel setup, Windows tuning, BIOS level performance settings for Intel and AMD, and an advanced trick at the end to lower your input lag even further. Valorant is built on Unreal Engine and loves CPU power, so we optimize for visibility, FPS stability, and lowest latency here's the settings that you should change full screen mode you want to set to full screen and then set your fps to a multiple of your refresh rate for my example i have a 144 hertz monitor and my pc can easily do 288 fps constantly so i'm going to cap my fps at 288 the whole entire time then go to graphics quality you want to set everything to low with the exception of anti-aliasing you could test none or msaa x2 this is going to make it so the jagged edges are way smoother in game and just make it look a little bit better if you have a better graphics card in tropic filtering you want x and everything else off now low settings aren't just for low end pcs they give more consistent frame timing which means cleaner aim feel so in this video we're going to be using a valorant op ultimate optimization guide pack so go to my discord server and download it from the tweaks channel in order to continue so the first thing that we want to do is we're going to completely reinstall our nvidia drivers so i'm going to be using display driver uninstaller and all you have to do is just press no on that then press ok then press ok again then select device type graphics card and then just press clean and restart this is going to completely uninstall the current nvidia drivers wipe any configuration that you've done to your current nvidia driver and just completely give you a fresh slate for your nvidia driver and it's going to restart it as soon as it's done with that once it's done restarting head back to the same folder then go to the nvidia folder and we're going to double click nv clean install 1.119 this is just a deep loader for nvidia drivers it will install your nvidia driver the latest one which is going to be the one that we're using it's going to completely remove all the unnecessary features that we don't need for gaming and then we're also going to do some post installation tweaks so just press next press next again and let that download then installation tweaks check the first three and then check disable ansel show expert tweaks disable driver telemetry disable http and check the last two options at the bottom then press next press install and then it's going to completely install Nvidia driver with some pre-configured stuff. So open up Nvidia control panel and in adjust that top color settings, we're going to up the digital vibrance to 75%. This is going to make colors way more vibrant and Valorant. It's going to make you spot enemies way faster and it's just going to give you more awareness in game. Then we're going to go to adjust image settings with a preview, drag your preference emphasizing to performance, then press apply, then select use the advanced image 3D settings and then press apply. Then click take me there. And then we're going to disable anti-aliasing gamma correction, set that to off. And then we're going to scroll down. Low latency mode, this is pretty much obsolete, but still set it to on just in case. Because Valorant uses reflex, so it's pointless. Open GL rendering GPUs at your, to your graphics card. Power management mode, power perform maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, highest available. And then shader cache size set to unlimited. Let's go down to the bottom and make sure texture filtering quality is set to high performance. And then press apply on the bottom right. Go to change resolution and then click use NVIDIA color settings at the bottom and set the output dynamic range to full. Then press apply on the bottom right. Then close out of NVIDIA control panel and we're going to right click on the desktop and click display settings. Go to advanced display and set your refresh rate to the maximum refresh rate, which is going to be 144 hertz for my PC. Then close out of that, go to NVIDIA settings and open up NVIDIA profile inspector. And then just maximize this a little bit and then scroll down, I'm gonna look for force CUDA, force P2 state, and set that to off. Then we're gonna press apply changes on the top right. Scroll down, an R bar feature set to enabled, and then R bar options 00x1, and then R bar size limit to the one with Red Dead Redemption in the name. And then press apply changes on the top right. This R bar feature doesn't actually enable resize bar support. However, what this setting does, it just somehow maximizes FPS even more, even though it doesn't actually enable resize bar support. Close out NVIDIA Profile Inspector and go to the third folder and we're going to click choose a power plan. And you want to make sure that you're using Ultimate Performance Power Plan or High Performance or a custom power plan like I'm using. Then go to Disable Core Isolation and we're going to make sure we disable Core Isolation. However, Valorant is one of those games where you might have to leave it enabled if you get an HPCIE error. So if you get that error, just make sure to leave Core Isolation enabled. Then we're going to go to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure to turn this on. It helps boost FPS in Valorant and edit many other games. Go to uninstall apps and just uninstall any apps that you do not need on your PC because these tend to run in the background and cause a lot of problems with your mouse feel 
and your FPS. Go to apps and then go to startup and just disable any startup applications that you do not need. Then go to system, go to notifications, turn these off, and then you're gonna go to storage and make sure that you turn off storage sense because we don't need necessary we don't need these unnecessary background tasks in the background. Then go to gaming, game mode, turn on game mode, and then that's all you have to do for that. Then to uninstall Xbox Game Bar, just run that uninstall Xbox Game Bar .bat as administrator. This is gonna uninstall Xbox Game Bar and it won't be running on your game while you're playing. Then go back, go to BIOS settings for Valorant, and then all we're gonna do is double click the restart to BIOS. It's gonna automatically take you to the BIOS. However, if you double click it twice and it still doesn't work, then just restart your PC and spam delete. Now I'm gonna cover the Intel BIOS settings for now, and I'm gonna dive into AMD. So what you want to do is you want to go to Extreme Tweaker and you want to enable ASUS Multi-Core Enhancement or enable Multi-Core Enhancement in your BIOS settings. Then go to Advanced at the top, go to CPU Configuration, and you want to disable hyperthreading. This helps with mouse feel. Then go to CPU Power Management Control, disable Intel Speed Shift Technology, and then you want to disable CPU C states and also disable Thermal Monitor. A lot of these are power saving options that fluctuate your clock speeds and set your certain cores to sleep while you're gaming, and you don't want that. You want everything completely running at max power while you're playing games. So that's why we're disabling these. Then go back to Extreme Tweaker, just make sure you have XMP enabled and then save changes and reset. For AMD BIOS, you wanna make sure that global C state control is disabled. You wanna enable precision boost overdrive and XMP or DOCP set this to enabled. And then SMT, if you're on Ryzen 9, disable this. However, if you're on anything below a Ryzen 9, leave it on on. BIOS is where your CPU performance gets bottlenecked. We've seen high end rigs throttled because of C states or lack of XMP. We safely tune all this in our competitive optimization service. So if BIOS feels intimidating, we've got you covered. You USB coalescing can introduce unnecessary pulling delay, especially on mouse input. Disabling can shave off a lot of input delay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the last folder, the optional folder, and it's completely optional to do, guys. You don't have to do this. On higher end PCs, this is better to do. On lower end PCs, you might have to test around with it because it might reduce your FPS because you're constantly pulling instead of just packaging it up and sending it over. Now I just wanna make something clear. Sometimes Valorant doesn't play nice with this because of core isolation. So if you get an error while doing this, like launching Valorant or actually launching the RW Everything program, I'd recommend just staying away from it because core isolation just doesn't let this happen at all so double click rw everything just install this program this is completely needed for what we're going to do for this step then go to the fixed driver cannot be loaded error and you want to run this if you're on windows 11 in order to disable the vulnerable driver block list because if you don't disable this rw everything will just give you an error so just double click this press yes and then press ok then go back and then go to move this to your c drive we're going to right click on this and we're going to click copy we're going to go to this pc then c drive and then just paste it into there this is just the script that will be run on startup in order to disable usb coalescing then go to move this to startup folder and then just copy this as well then press windows key and r and type shell in startup and then it's going to open up with this startup folder just right click and then paste the disable imod.bat file into there and then next time you restart your pc this will automatically disable usb coalescing which will help in more than just valorant in terms of input delay valorant's engine rewards fine-tuned systems and punishes misconfigured ones you can do a lot with guides like this but if you want us to optimize your full system bios operating system latency even memory tuning we offer one-on-one -on -one sessions where we handle it all for you Book your personal optimization at Zilli.net. It's done live, it's risk-free, and money back if you don't feel the difference, and it's trusted by over a thousand gamers who now play Smoother.